and it wasn't until some 27, 26 years later that he finally gets arrested and gets convicted. Former Queens prosecutor John Scarpa, he gets convicted for the very same misconduct that I've been telling them about, that he's been doing for decades. So he would just find someone, pin it on them? Yeah, he would concoct the story, a theory, as he did in my situation. And he did this just to ju- just to convict someone? Yeah. Anyone? Yeah. So yeah. it wasn't that he was targeting you? It just He just decided Look, it was you? Anybody that he felt was involved in a criminal lifestyle or in drug dealing, you c- it's easier to get someone that has a history of being involved in the streets to put a, a, a case on them than it right. is that someone that doesn't. So. You know, once they find out that you have a record, it's easy to say, "All right, well, he did this homicide." What kind of a record did you have at the time? I had a drug. I had a drug sale prior to that. 